I'm gonna kill you. Oh, wait, I just did. <laughs> Okay, what's up YouTube Squad, we YouTube here, and today I'm going to be doing a reaction to Sonic and Sonic Scourge of Darkness Part 2 by Macaroni76. Now, I originally wasn't planning to make, make any videos today because, because I was feeling sick. But, later past today, I started to feel a lot better, so... Excuse me if my voice sounds a little weird, but... It's still recovering a little bit, and I hope you guys don't mind, but I'll be having some Fiesta pizza right here. I doubt you guys know what that is. Not the pizza, but just the PS the kind. Anyway, so I made a mistake last night at last time of skipping the part I've already seen. That was wrong of me. But this time I will not skip. My hands will be right here. Anyways, with all this being said and done, from what I've seen, I'm not actually I, I for those for those people that haven't seen it yet. Like, if you haven't seen Scourge of Darkness Part 1, do that. But for now, let's get into this. The original link's in the description. I just said that before, but I'm going to say it again because I'm awesome like that. <laughs> Make sure you go subscribe to Macaroni76. That's, um, 7 and, like, 7, 70 shit, 70, 76. <laughs> Anyways, without further ado, let's get into this. Bow. Thanks for 1,500 subs. Now for 2,000. Very interesting song, I must say. <laughs> Hold up. How many times do I have to say, it's not the force, it's like a fucking kinesis! Emphasis on the cycle. Hey, I was going to say that. <laughs> oh, poor my fucking battery should be fucking up. At least I have this to shave it. Right. Plug that in, if I can even reach the charger cord. Reach that over to this, turn this up a bar a little bit, so it just... Back down from that. Alright. Find out in whatever that just said. Sonic and Sonic Surge of Darkness Part 2. 13 years ago. Hey! So this is 2004? I've seen this before, but the audio was kind of weird, so I wasn't able to hear it 100%. But I want to listen to it. I don't know if I don't know if David did a sonic impression and just upped the pitch, or if he had someone else that had a lot higher of a pitch do an impression of him. I figure it is the first one. Where's Sonic? Perhaps he's lost his way. It's coming from the alley. Oops. Come on, Charles. Where's Sonic? Somebody knock on the door. Hey, you okay? Okay. Soon to be Sean. Hello, 
Ick. Not Vicky. <laughs> That's so cute. Do this on the ass. Oh yeah, this is still some parts I haven't seen yet. Oh wait, no man. I guess this is that mall music. Forever twenty one. Hold up. Oh yeah. Um. Spoiler alert if you haven't seen part one, but this is the part when when um when um uh what um the invasion of the mall takes place. More like hell no. I don't know. It's probably the Dark Brotherhood of Solaris. Okay, so for those of you that haven't seen the Valentine's Valentine's Day stream about a couple weeks ago, there was a joke that Laurel made when somebody asked her to say hail Mephiles, and she said hail Mephiles, but to that I have to say hell no. <laughs> and and then and then on Facebook she made a comment. I don't know if I'm supposed to be saying this, but she made like a comment saying. Take a shot every time she says hail no. Every time the video says hail Mephilus. And I said, okay. Cause so I got some beer over there. Whenever that comes out, it'll be in <laughs> what am I saying? I mean, I've seen a preview of this, but I think I got what these all look. Oh yeah, I think they're all supposed to have guns, but they just had them like mannequins, like staying there. At least that's what supposed to be saying. Language already. This tiger dumbass can die 1,000 deaths. Take these girls and put them with the others. Grim, what's happening? I don't know, Tails. I'm really scared. You know. Greetings, my hostages. I am. <laughs> There's not the photo. Coming up, and it looks pretty, pretty creepy. More like Mephilus the Dork.
is your name? G. What? What's with the G? No, this is Mario. What's with the G? Is 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 the G supposed to be like this? The letter? I mean, it doesn't mean S. It doesn't mean S for Solaris. It doesn't mean M for Methodist. It doesn't mean anything. Like, like what is it supposed to be? I actually spat. <laughs> And just down. Okay. Where we can find the center of darkness. Darkness. Okay, about? There's no center of darkness here. That freaked me out when I first saw that. Do you want to feel the wrath of the raging demon? Then stop taking over the world and go f yourselves. Leave him alone! Oh look, another trash talker. Oh yes, Scar just told me about you. You're his longtime crush from college, Jean Ann Cook. My name is Jean. I don't care. You're going to die now. First of all. I thought it was Genie, because I thought it was Genie the Hedgehog. That's number one. Number two. Shonic said Gene's full name in Gene and Diddy's review of of Gene and Diddy review or Gene and Diddy's review of Super Mario sixty four with Sonic and Shonic, and Shonic said Gene Money. Cook McInerney. We do not bring that up! And she and Mike and I I don't know if that was supposed to be a spin-off and if this is like I don't know. Just like your poor mother. Don't you bring my mother into this! Oh, I was there when she died. Scourge kept flashing open the night. And it was I who delivered the finishing blow of one Is David Dosti actually in this project? If so, I want him to use that sword. That immediately reminds me of a book I'm reading, Code of Honor. Where, okay, I know I bring it up a lot on this channel, but I was supposed to gonna make a project to this, but sometimes. Anyway, so, so what happened is, is that there's, I can't remember. Okay, so. So there's this, so there's this, so there's this, um, one person named Cameron, he's a football player, and he was king of the world at one point, and then his brother, older brother Darius was considered a terrorist of just because of him being in attack. That's what this pieces of dialogue remind me of, that story. Like, seriously, like, I guess they're trying to tell that, that. Actually, I'm about to trash talk you right now, and since you can't break the fourth wall, you can't do anything about it. Future me, edit this in, and tell them what you gotta say. Man, I owe Dago with your toe. Bass, go ahead and talk about me. That's why I'm always smoking expired Newports, and she's still dropping your ass off at school. Let's talk about some. I'm gonna be here when you get out of school to pick you up. <laughs> <laughs> You know, I have like a good friend at school, and back like last year, he used to say, sup Coles, 
And <laughs> that just immediately reminded me of that. They lace all the entrances with explosives. Even the elevators and parking garages are laced with explosives. Then how the fuck are we gonna get in? Breathe the roof. Are you crazy, Shonic? The mall has a glass that looks super realistic. Hey, I know it's some fine portion for sale. Is as transparent as Peter Parker wearing a t-shirt that says I am Spider-Man. Don't worry, Sonic. I have a plan. Do you see Scourge in there? No, Scourge is not in there. Well, these guys look super dangerous. Sonic, we're about to breach the mall, which is being overrun by terrorists to rescue hostages. This is basically Die Hard meets Pavlar Malkov meets Dawn of the Dead. We could get killed. Also, couldn't you just as defeating the bombs would take too long? Not to mention that the bombs are cleverly hidden. What about your ultrasonic shockwave ring? The all-powerful ultrasonic shockwave ring? That could work. But keep in mind. You probably remember my what to be a mixed up afternoon. Hold on! No! And that in my YouTube a mixed up afternoon. Shonic brought up the ultrasonic shockwave ring. And I was like, hold up! You tell me that you're friends out these robots and you didn't bring that out till now. What the Shonic? <laughs> yeah. Those rings are only used once, so we'll need to use these from inside the mall. Luckily, we have two of those rings. One of us will need to head over to the north side of the mall, and the other will need to head over to the south side. If we defuse the bombs from the east side, Jean and Aurora will only die faster. Oh god, I just remembered something else. Tell the cream we're gonna trade in their copies of Sonic Boom Fire Nights at GameStop to get themselves copies of Shantae Have Genie Hero. They're being held hostage. Shantae Have Genie Hero, I like that more game. More people that we need to rescue. What if Tails gets shot or stabbed? I have my insecure fresh aid supplies. I didn't forget this time. I wonder if the Dark Brotherhood uses poison daggers. The poison's already kicking in. And shit, I forgot my insecure fresh aid supplies. I did it. Do we have enough bullets? I told oh, you, Sonic. I never go I threw that and now it's gone. Let's you go are not coming out. That's not from. Um. Hulk, where do you think you're going? Um, Gmod. Isn't this the same guy who hands out gift cards to good citizens that we encountered in Dimension S? Gift cards. Dimensions. What in Mother Russia are you talking about? My name is Boris. This guy must know Zangi. Sorry, Sonic, but area is off limits. Dark Brotherhood is holding people hostage in there, and extremely dangerous. So I wouldn't cross line if I were you. They list the entrances with explosives. Our best men tried to defuse bombs, but they couldn't find bombs. Luckily, they got out of there when they did. If you come here to defuse bombs, you're basically signing your own suicide note. Good job, we got a repeat of Adventures in Lego! He's off, sir! My girlfriend is in there! Too bad. If you cross line, Dark Brotherhood will kill you. I am just keeping everyone safe. This is my job after all. Uh. Now go home and get some rest. We will handle these guys. Hey! Where do you think you're going? Stop! I see Jean and Aurora. And there's Tails and Cream. Tails looks like he's wounded. Twice! Oh God! Tails! I told you, I can heal him. Whatever you say. I just hate antagonists sometimes. Perhaps the same can be done with you, Rabbit. Well, tell me, your name is it? What do you want? Where can I find a scepter of darkness? We told you, there's no scepter of darkness here. Is that so? Here. Since you're unwilling to comply. Hey, why don't you pick on someone your age, size? Forget that. Why? What the hell is that wolf? And I've come to rescue my bridge and kill Scourge. 
Too bad. Scourge is Be the Raging Demon. I'm I'm sorry, y'all. I just love the Raging Demon. Like, I just can't get... In fact, I want to send out a message to my good friend, Gabriel M. He's really good at animating. And I want to ask him if he can make an animation of classic Sonic here. I mean, just classic Sonic, because I don't think he would know what Sonic is. <laughs> oh, Sonic doing the Raging Demon on Scourge. I would love that. I'm going to email him about it or something. Awesome. How the hell did you get in? The entrances to the store are laced with explosives. Easy. I just got in through the one place you didn't even think about lacing with explosives. The roof! <laughs> Cause you're not a cat. And who the hell are you? Also, they should be chilling, dog. Fuck from the sky, guy, 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 That's from man. I'll just, I'll just look deep to energetic. Please don't. I'd rather not lose my ear to the frosted flakes mascot. Too bad. <laughs> the frost of place mascot. Oh, God. Don't let them get any closer. I only use this gun for murder. You know what? You get the fucking point. Drop your weapons on the hostage. It's a circle. There are no points. Sleet, Dingo, keep an eye on the hostages. Make sure they don't get away. They just dig with them hostages. I wonder if this was ever used as a Pokestop in Pokemon Go. Okay, Sean, <laughs> I'm at the north side. Pokestop in Pokemon Go. <laughs> it's kind of tough to figure out. I'm literally being chased by terrorists. <laughs> Me too. Let's just defuse the explosions, rescue the hostages, and kill this insta bitch on the K3, activate the ring and snap. I spy die! No! Our explosives! Fatality! Kill them! Elevator! That, as you could tell, is public I know you're out there. Woo! Oh, it's this adorable. Crying out for your brother to come and save you from the big meat baby in the cat. Sonic won't be able to save you now. You were your foster parent. Oh, is the witty witty little shit race going to cry? Then come out so you can finally end your suffering. I'm gonna kill you. Oh, wait, I just did. <laughs> you know, I actually made a bit of a mistake back in like, back like a week ago. Like, like, David like posted a preview of Scourge of Darkness Part 2, and then I posted that dial that line 
of Sonic saying, I'm gonna kill you. Oh, wait, I just did. Ha <laughs> ha. And then I realized I spoiled it. I got a broken rule. And now I am on the brink of losing all of my things. And I am also on the brink of not being able to say anything to anyone for the rest of my life. All right. Now with that out of the way. Flop it or I kill your brother. You got it, pal. Control nothing to do anymore. Drop by a gun. Every time you drop your gun on the ground, it automatically fires up the target. One of Sonic's first useful features. And though we totally didn't get that from Indiana Jones or the Kingdom of the Crystal Skull. <laughs> I thought that was somebody from Cuphead for a second. Sonic. Heal me. We need to find some place to hide. Then I'll heal you. Stay with me, Shonic. Go to the Starbucks. Benjamin Starbuck. <sighs> I heard gunfire going to the south side. Sonic and Shonic have to be around here somewhere. Next time we hold a mall hostage, we should try listening to explosives on the roof too. Okay, that way, no one ever barge in to rescue our beloved hostages. Cheetah, look. Aiden is dead. Aiden, our brother. Was the headshot? They're not far. Find them and kill them. Uh, they couldn't have run too far. I don't care. Search every floor, every shop. The ones you do, they better be dead. Sonic, don't make a sound. Sonic, I'm scared. These guys are brutal. When they get close enough, I'll go after them. You stay hidden. You're hurt. Are you finding anything? They're not in the Sears! And they ain't the dick sporting goods either. <laughs> okay. She sounded like she was like right behind the wall that Sonic's hiding from. Like, okay. Imagine this. There's like a wall right here. Sonic's right here. And then the person that was just saying that loud clip was right here. That was probably why you're like, ah! compared to like somebody else being like all the way out here, like, that's all it was like, like, that's just, oh, pop, <laughs> okay, I need to get back. <laughs> <laughs> they should put some gold round double seven in the back. They should still they should put some bench in the pop over there in the back. You guys have more saying than stormtroopers. Oh, do we? This counter isn't going to provide much cover for us for long. Aqua 4. Okay, stop! Shonic, what the fuck are you doing? I just realized that I never finished my coffee at the diner this morning. Let me get this straight, Sean. You think that finishing your cup of coffee from this morning is more important than your own life? What is even me? Sorry if I'm acting a little crazy, I need to chill. That 
it's how it's from. I don't know where that's from. Okay. Please tell me that that cup has some weird invisibility things. Because it looks like Sonic is not even holding the cup. It looks like he's just holding on to thin air. And the cup is just... And the cup is just like in front of it. And it has like a clear see-through. See oh, that really hits the spot. Now, where was I? Oh, I remember. I was going to kick some terrorist ass. <laughs> And that looks like he's about to eat the coffee cup. No offense, but y'all should really work on your art. I can totally imagine that being some sound effects from, Sonic, from Street Fighter. Go, heel, tails. Got it, Sonic. No, he said hail tails. Hail tails. I doubt your brother is going Wait, to how much save time our house okay, this time. Hi. Says the one named after a Lego Ninjago character. And by the time he gets there, I have not seen Lego Ninjago, so I have Lego Ninja no idea how that world. Oh, that was a horrible idea. That is not supposed to be an eye patch, or is that how your other eye was designed? No, not tails. Anyone but tails. It's too late. I run Anyone but tails. So it could be Sonic. Aurora, Jean, David, Laurel, Shadow, Mario, Amy, Cream, Knuckles, or Jackass, um, Luigi, like, anyone <laughs> except Tails. Your friends will die, and we'll be sure to save Sonic for the last. <laughs> Leave my friends out of this, you psychopath! You know, it's really cute when you get angry. <coughs> then perhaps I'll use my cuteness to rip your fucking head off! To rip your fucking head off! Okay, Sonic, or not Sonic, Sonic tapped into the Satsui no Hado, the surge of murderous intent, and probably is about to become Dark Sonic. And then, and then, and then he will teach all of these motherfuckers the meaning of pain. <laughs> looks like he's about to get by his butt. <laughs> oh, Sonic is link confirmed, guys, I guess. You should be sorry, a warm joke for that cheap though. <laughs> Sonic the Dark Brotherhood is too strong. We'll see about that. Requiesce got in Pache, motherfucker. Hell. Hell. I just hope Tails and the No! I thought you told me on Messenger that Scourge was not going to be in the mall. Wait a minute. Maybe he should using walkie-talkies or maybe just something that can communicate. Okay. You got to look in. Is that supposed to be Luffy? Like Monkey to Luffy? If you're going to 
going to save Tails. You're wrong. Scourge will extract us and we'll be taking the hostages too. Like hell, you are... <gasps> She's too strong. How am I going to stop her? Jonic, you need to hurry. Jane. Tails is dying. Jane, you got a scar on your face. I know this is yours too. Like, I know that I know that what I'm saying is false. Just take this as cotton. You just whistled in our previous movie night! Whatever, just protect me, damn it! You say it, Ronnie. How do you do that? God, that's badass. Shot. It's just that we've never used guns before. Really? Shut up! Mm. Eh. Come on, Tails, stay with me! <laughs> Will you quit it? I'm allergic to knives! Well, not really, but still. Boys and daggers, I'm especially allergic to. Oh, Everybody allergic to poison daggers, Sonic. But I'll gladly use the same weapon to kill you. That's what you said in the Firefox dimension. The what? At least my Firefox crowd right. on you! You wanted Lear to bring me in, so he did. Try how? Shot my ear off, and you began to torture me in such brutal ways that it gives Game of Thrones the one for his money. Then your ear so should be off right now. Blap, blap, blap. And had Lear do the same thing to Shonic. I don't know who Lyric is, or if he exists, but I am still going to do all those horrible things to you if you don't surrender to the Dark Brotherhood, starting with your ear. Not on my watch, Shere Khan. Shere Khan? How dare you? Is Shere Khan supposed to be, is supposed to sound like Shao Khan from Mortal Kombat? You're not going to win, Ernst Dostavro Blofeld. What did you just call me? Come on, that's totally where you got your name. Out of all the trash talkers I've encountered Ooh, today, that's you the seem to be the trash thing. talker with the biggest damn mouth. Mr. Shonic, you have to save Tails. I'm working on it, Cream, but Tails has lost too much blood. I know if he'll live. Please, Mr. Shonic, you have to do something. Of course. There's a thing I've not done with my easy care for his kid yet. I can do blood transfusions. Don't worry, Cream. It's perfectly safe. It's working! Come on, Tails, please wake up. Please, Sonic needs you. <gasps> Sonic, what's happening? You got shot, and you lost a lot of blood. Oh, God! Ernsta, she's getting away! How about this? Get a rocket launcher and shoot the helicopter! <laughs> Oh, that works. They got away. Shonic, Hell's- I is dead. Don't know where that's from. Tails doing. Tails is still alive. I just did a blood transfusion and healed his wounds. That was such a nightmare. I never want this to happen to me again. It's just like you were floating without a body in a black limbo. Probably oh, gonna have nightmares for weeks. No, I know how Shonic felt during his PTSD episodes. As to all the other Episodes. hostages, the terrorists are gone, and the entrances are now bombed. Yeah, this should be like a reality Run TV show, kind of. Hold back. up a second. The mall should be back in business around tomorrow. Up a are you doing all right? Yeah, I'm doing fine, Shonic. I thought I was going to die. Thanks about this chance. And at last I see the light. Really? Must you ruin a romantic moment? To be fair, you kind of did that at the airport in Rio when I kissed Amy. I didn't see Amy here. I'm glad she wasn't at the mall being held hot. And Sonic, you and Jean did that to Sonic and Amy. 
in Sonic swimming lessons, or in my case, Sonic swimming lessons, and then you both die from that. Stitched by those terrorists. Man, that was really frightening. Aurora and I were at Forever 21 oh, when Sonic showed like at Halo Mephilus. And five seconds later, there were dead bodies everywhere. I thought we were going to die. Don't worry, Gene. You're safe now. The terrorists are gone. How do you feel, Tunes? Oh, man. My head hurts, and I can hardly breathe. Tunes, you should go home and get some rest. Cream is right, Tails. You've had enough for one day. Go home. Get some rest. We will take care of the Dark Brotherhood of Soul. This is probably about the- Okay, so I was reacting to an episode of Mac of 97 Six, the favorite Sonic Boom episodes. And then David told me in the comment section of that video that there's a part of Scourge of Darkness where, where Sonic sends Scourge home. But I didn't know if he did something bad or if it was because of his condition. Ours ourselves. Sonic, please! I don't want you to get hurt again. I'm oh. only doing this to protect you. Go home, put on a Netflix That's movie, creepy. or whatever. You're not coming with me and Sonic this time. Why do you always leave me on these missions and just go with Shonic? Remember when you used to go on missions with me all the time? You even said so yourself. Those days are not over. I came with you to save the Lego multiverse. Vortex and Voldemort never tortured me. I was never stabbed with a poison dagger in Rio de Janeiro. I didn't vomit in front of the movie theater after seeing Pixels. You and Shonic always take the credit for these kinds of things. Especially taking out Eggman's video and blowing a Mephilus with a fucking Rubik's Cube! Please, Sonic! I'm not a weak crybaby! I can fight the Dark Brotherhood! I have what it takes! These terrorists may have caught me off guard while I was trying to buy a Shantae half to hero, but this time, I'll be ready! Oh yeah! That's another thing! Mr. Lewis even got more copies of Shantae half to hero! Forget that right now, Crib! Well, I suppose I can bring Tails along with us. I wanna come too. Are you sure about this, Gene? It could be dangerous. Scourge killed my mom! Was Gene your only friend in college, Shonic? No, I made two other friends. A fox named Jimmy, and a weasel named Lucas. Which I voiced! They would often pair me and Gene with Jimmy and Lucas, and they were gay lovish. Which I find that super... I, they probably went to I mean, I don't know if I should be, a, I heard from them in be like, ashamed of because I voiced him, but... No, Jimmy and Lucas are still alive. I just haven't spoken to them in ages. I hope they're doing all right. Jimmy looks kind of like Tails, but his fur is darker, and he has brown eyes. And Lucas has brown fur and hazel eyes. Not like that one Kelly Clarkson song behind these hazel eyes. Those guys are really smart and funny, and they are fun to work with. I just wish they would keep in contact with me even after college. But then you made some new friends even after college. Me, Tails, Knuckles, Mario, Luigi, the big stars. That's true, but the I still have Gene and Samantha. And then, I saved Roar from getting hit by a bush. But both Gene and I have something in common. Scourge killed some important family members of ours, and we want revenge. The Geek Dog Cashier was still alive, but I told them to get out of here and find somewhere safe. You do that, Cream. Just don't tell her where you've been. Don't tell her about being held hostage. The last thing we want is for her to worry. <laughs> Then I still want you to run home and not run into any more trouble. And Tails? Yes, yeah, Sonic? You can come with us this time. But if you get put in danger again, I'll have to send you home. I really don't want you to die, Tails. Thanks, Sonic. Gene and Aurora. Yes, sure. That even though you can pass me on. We need to track down the last scepter of darkness and destroy it before Scourge lays his hands on it. I think I know someone we can talk to. An old professor of ours at Volpatropolis University. You know, the Scourge of Darkness kind of sounds like the Infinity Gauntlet. You mean Professor Pickle, our history teacher? Yeah, don't you? I'm Pickle Rick! History of Zoliana and a whole bunch of other places, too. Maybe Professor Pickle can help us find the location of the other Scepter of Darkness. Wait, is it that same Professor Pickle who helped me and Chip put the world back together in Sonic Unleashed? I thought he taught at Spagonia University. He also teaches at Mobotropolis University. Also, Spagonia and Mobotropolis are big football rivals. Me and Gene will always go to Spagonia versus Mobotropolis football games. We also like watching them play ice hockey. I think I see where you're going with this, Shonic. Professor Pickle might have some information we need on the whereabouts of the first Scepter of Darkness. Not the one Zaz found in Rio to cause chaos at the Olympic Games. But there are only two Scepters of Darkness. One has been destroyed at the closing ceremony with Mephilus trapped inside it. Perhaps the two Scepters were linked. One chapter was destroyed with Mephilus inside it. Mephilus must have transferred his soul into the other chapter. The original chapter. 
When and why was Scepter Number 2 created? Professor Pickle knew the answer. Now come on, let's go back to my lab first and clean ourselves up. Then we can take a trip to Mobitropolis first thing tomorrow morning. Also, I'm gonna have to teach the girls a thing or two about firearms. That would be much Firearms? I thought you already had pyrokinesis, Gene. And healing and that fairy barn. for the night. And first thing tomorrow morning, we'll share that for me to to meet with Professor Pickle. Me, Vile? Probably gonna go to Eggman, bet. Kingdom Valley Temple? Sounds like something from Breath of Bob. Oh, we're back to... Ugh. Wimpy! So, Ernsta, did you bring any hostages aboard with you? No. Those damn hedgehogs, Sonic and Shonic, got in the way and set them loose. But don't worry, Ernsta. I've got a perfect trap Fuck. set up Fuck. for these dookers. Even my college Duker. crush. What you Gina need is a hot dookan. Be mine at last. Did you see the poor girl's face? She looks so helpless and earned stuff. Hold up, hold up, dream. hold up. What does that say? David uh, R. Face. Also, Einstein managed to put a bullet in Tails' belly. Shonic had to come in and heal it all up. I would have preferred Tails to die a slow and painful death. Patience, Ernsta. When the Scepter of Darkness has been found, we will sacrifice one of their own to resurrect Mephilus. Preferably, I would sacrifice both Sonic and Shonic, since they are my greatest enemies. And the ghost of Mephilus told me, specifically, to use their blood, not just Sonic's blood, which was used to resurrect the Deadly Six two summers ago. I want both Sonic and Shonic's blood in order for this to work. And should they try to escape, <laughs> they will be turned into roasted hedgehog meat. Just like RJ here. I told you, assholes. I'm not a hedgehog. I'm a hedge wolf. Is he is Hedge Wolf supposed to be like like a cousin of Werehog? Like, seriously. Your happy team of resistance fighters are not likely going to save you from this RJ. You'll be executed soon enough. We have one of your best soldiers on our side now. Good luck with that. The Guild of the Golden Eagle never allows its members to betray them and side with you, scumbags. We told David otherwise. My brother's a scum boy. David! David, no! I'm sorry, RJ, but I have a mission to complete. I didn't want to have to leave the Guild of the Golden Eagle, but I had no other choice. <laughs> you. Nope. Nope. No. No, I'm just... I'm just... No. No. I'm done. I'm, I'm done. I'm, I'm, I'm done. The video's about. I'm, I'm done. I'm. I'm done. I'm done. I'm done. Goodbye. I'm done. Okay, fine. Duh. Bastard! What did you do to David? You spoke a few simple words to him, and he gave his signature in blood. Hail Mephilus! No! Ah! Yeah. David, send the prisoner back to his cell. Mephilus gave me a mission. 
I can't. Is this supposed to be Ready Player One? Brothers and sisters, our time for vengeance is nigh. The resurrection of our Lord Mephiles, the Dark, will soon be admitted. As all you know, I have escaped from Prison Island, along with my sweet girlfriend, Fiona, as well as Sleep and Dingo. The spirit of Mephiles came to me to give us a mission. Find the original scepter of darkness and make a sacrifice of blood. I will not be sacrificing our team for this work. I will be using the blood of the two hedgehogs who blew up Mephiles with the Rubik's Cube. Sonic and Shonic. <laughs> What? We were promised hostages from the station square mall. I don't know if they're applauding or just then, those being like screaming in fear. Snuck in and took off, costing the lives of our dearly beloved brothers and sisters, Aiden, Nayla, Zane, and Jenna. They even took off to find the scepter to try to stop. The resurrection of Mephiles. But I think I know where we can go to try to find the first scepter. And an old college professor of mine might hold the key to finding the location of the scepter of darkness. The scepter and the blood of Sonic and Shonic, our Lord Mephiles, who will turn into another age of darkness. Our organization was founded for one purpose. A new world order. We found it on the belief of that humanity could not be trusted with its own freedom. We have created a world so chaotic that humanity is finally oh. ready to sacrifice its freedom to gain its security. And with the resurrection of Mephiles, we will finally take over the world and make the world into the way it was meant to be. Hail Mephiles! Hail no. Hail no, hail no, hail no, hail no. Hail Mephiles. Hail no, I don't know. Big plot twist. Literally. I, I don't even know what this, all right, I gotta, I gotta, I gotta go end this, I gotta go, I gotta go do something else, I gotta go think about this for a little bit. Thanks for watching, I guess, if you like this video and you want to see more, leave a like, if you just like this video, let me know in the comments down below, maybe I'll be able to ask you, Bob. Also, let me know down in the comments below for question of the day, what was the, what do you think was the most interesting part about this? My favorite part is when Sonic was like, I'm gonna kill you. Oh wait, I just did. <laughs> also, if you're out new to my channel, make sure you subscribe and become part of the YouTube squad. And make sure you hit the bell to be notified when I upload another video. By the way, no. <sighs> make sure you check my social media, be Facebook, Twitter, Google Plus, and possibly even Discord if you like. Actually, no, I canceled my Discord. Anyways, I gotta, I gotta go think about this. So, thanks for you to subscribe to come watch this video, I guess. And David sent me three messages. But next, but until next time, guys, be to be out, y'all. Peace.